each one smarty signing in a my program ally spoken to part eight of the sfml and c plus plus 2d platform tutorial series so in the last story we covered was how to correctly dynamically link sfml to code blocks so be sure you have checked out the tutorial and you guys know all of you about in the tutorial because if you guys do not follow that last tutorial, links in the description to the last tutorial. It will you will not be able to use the audio library or the networking library with SML, which kind of sucks because if we're going with the two platform we're here, and we want multiplayer, we're going to need networking. If we want sounds, we're going to need audio. So in this tutorial, we're going to work on the player class some more, and we're going to make it so that this way the player will stop moving, his X and Y coordinates will stop changing if you're not pressing left or right. So. What we want to, first thing we want to do is we're going to want to open code blocks and basically check out the last tutorial links in the description and follow all the steps on that tutorial except don't name the project charles that was just because it was a test project but name it create new project and just name it 2d platformer with c plus plus and this way we're going to know what is what and which is which Alrighty, so all we have done so far is we've just basically followed all the steps in the last tutorial. Again, links in the description to that. And basically, I just renamed it to the platform where it's plus plus. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to, we can minimize this a second here. So we're going to want to go to our old C++ plus 2 platform where. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the main C++ plus source file. Right click it and then hit edit. And that will open up no notepad here. So what we want to do in notepad is control A. To just select everything, Control C to copy everything, and we want to copy all this goodness into the main .cpp. So now, if we compile and run it, we should be 100% error free, no problems. And yep, 100% error free, no problems. Alrighty, so look got that step out of the way. So let's load up the official coding countdown timer. Ah, there it is. A enter to begin the official coding countdown timer, and let's get programming. So what we really want to do is we're going to want to go to our player class, and inside the player class the void update function. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here, right here, and we're going to create another if statement. So we're going to go if, open some parentheses, inside those parentheses, add an exclamation mark. So what the exclamation mark mark is, it's the operator for not. So what that basically means, it's it's not. So then open up some parentheses. Inside that, then run the test of what's not going to happen. So if something isn't going to happen, so in this case, it's going to be player websites with L player right so if the player is not pressing the the right key or which is two pipe characters to find get to the pipe character just go shift and then the backslash button so if he's not pressing the right key or the left key player left what's gonna happen oh, open up some curly braces give yourself some space to work and then we're gonna set the X velocity X fell equal to zero add a semicolon to the end of that and now what we're going to do is we're going to print out our X position on the screen. And this way, this will tell us if it is actually updating correctly. So to do that, just type C out, two less than signs. And then all you have to do then is just, we're going to type X position. So that's X pause. And then end the line with end L. So if we compile and run this, we should be error free here. All right, so we see an error here. This error is nothing to do with my code, code blocks, SFML or anything. This is Windows here. Having its freak out moment. I'll pause the countdown timer a minute here. And basically what it does is it does it like prevents me from accessing platform to platform.exe and denies my permission. So what the heck is going on with that? I have no idea. So basically what I've been doing so far is I've been resetting my computer, like doing a restart, and then that seems to fix it for a couple compile and runs. But then after that, I'm done. So I was thinking that maybe it was, I thought maybe my antivirus here was actually preventing me from doing this. So I'm going to install make it here, here and try it from there. Because this is getting really seriously annoying. I mean, I can't even program. All right, so I have make it uninstalled now. And the error was 100% gone now. So now I can actually edit my folder. So that is usually if that was a super annoying glitch I had there for a while. Thank you, make it so much for saving me from editing my own folder. I mean... I think, I mean, what would have I done if Mickey had it stopped me from doing that? I would have just, that would have been just, just the worst thing in the world. Sarcasm aside, even though I like the feeling of security that comes with antivirus, when this prayer is preventing me from actually editing my own code, I'm just going to have to shrimp it without and just go with my own brains here. So basically what I do is I just let McAfee run until I run out of my free subscription that comes when I reset my computer because I have to reset my computer so many times because of the Windows 10 bugs. And then from there, what I basically do is just, you know, the best antivirus is really in your head. 
don't go on sites that you know are going to be malicious when you're downloading something be sure that it does have the https and also don't go plugging in random hard drives that you find in dumpsters if it's in a dumpster and it's and you can see hammer dents on it it's probably meant to be destroyed and it's probably meant to be left there don't go plugging in usbs you find rolling around in the ditch that's probably not a good idea either especially if you can see the a boot print like as if someone's trying to stomp it it's probably definitely a virus so anyways, I got that issue fixed, so let's get back to the code. So I just realized something that I left out two very important lines. Like, I didn't leave them out, but I actually, somehow the lines got lost. But basically, the lines that I lost somehow was x, which is um, x position, and then plus equals x velocity. So we're going to copy this line here. I'm not sure how I lost that line, but oh well, slight error. Nothing to be too overly concerned about. Add y there compile and run now if we compile and run this we should be error free here good to go so you can see here that if i move to the right the number changes i stop stop moving to the right fingers up and as this the number stops changing so i'm moving to the left it goes down so that's working 100 percent how it should be working so and what we're going to want to do is now now is where we're going to want to actually load a texture so head on over to ms paint microsoft paint so if you don't know how to get there you just go to the windows start button Whoa, whoa, did you look at that? A Windows 10 error every day, man. So it looks like my Starman is disabled now again. So that kind of sucks. So basically what you would do if your start menu wasn't all disabled, you'd scroll all the way to the bottom, you'd see Windows Accessories, and you'd want to click on that. So, man, like, I'm getting, like, a Windows 10 glitch here every day. Glitch of the day, folks. A disabled start menu, again. This is the third time I've had it. My brother has had a disabled start menu. And actually what we've been doing now to fix it is we go... Here, let's pause this countdown timer because we're not actually programming. So recently, I, we did a video on this on like like the start menu was all disabled and crap like that. And how we fixed it last time was we reset our computer back to factory. I reset my computer back to factory, I should say. And that fixed it for now, but then it came again. So now how I've been fixing it from there, because I'm getting this error like fairly often, is you go control up delete, control delete, and then you'll see task manager. Um, the screen might be blacked out because sometimes it blacks out like this. And then open up task manager and then file you'll see that file button right there we're gonna click that run new task and you'll see this below box here create this task with administrative permissions definitely want to check that and then all you have to do is type power shell then i'd hit okay and from here then all also i'd have to do type is sfc space forward slash and then scan now just like that so click uh, Oh, whoops, no space here. Then I hit enter. Um, I don't want to fix it right now because right now I, I want to finish up this video. I'm, I'm pretty much almost done here. And then this way I would scan for any bugs or glitches with it. And then it would, typically it would fix it for me. So that's how I've been fixing it from there. So, so I've had error after error here. Like first, McPhee's giving me problems here. Denying my permission to my own folders. Then Microsoft says, hey, my, might as well just pile on with errors and disable that start menu too. A little knot here. Work on that. I'll get the other box. So, anyways, so in the next tutorial we're going to be covering is how to load a texture into SFML on the display as a sprite onto the screen. So, if you guys have any questions or comments about C++ Plus or SFML, leave that down in the comment section. And if you guys have any annoyances about Windows 10 too, I'd love to hear that as well. Leave that down in the comment section too. Be sure to leave a like before you leave. If we guys help you out and you guys enjoy what you do, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you tomorrow or whenever tech news breaks and we upload from Monday to Friday. Marshall Marty out.